Pacific Coast Munchies. Alright, let's make some homemade salsa. First off, you're going to want four medium to large tomatoes. You'll start by chopping those up. Give them a good uniform small dice. And then set them aside in a large bowl. Then to dice up half of a medium white or red onion, just as small if not smaller than you dice the tomatoes. And then also add that to your bowl. You'll want one large lime. You can just squeeze it and use the juice. I like to quarter them, take the skin off, and dice all the pulp up. It adds a lot more lime flavor this way. After removing all the skins, I like to take the pulp, give it a nice fine dice so it mixes up evenly, and then add it into your mixture. Now for a little spice. I like to use a half of a jalapeno diced up to throw into the mix. If you like it a little spicier, use a whole jalapeno. If you really like hot stuff, try maybe half a habanero instead. I always like to add a little fruit into my salsa. Today I use blueberries because that's what I had, but I really love a good pineapple in a salsa. You could try mangoes or peaches. You could even try strawberries. Almost any fruit is a great addition to a salsa in my opinion. And last but not least, a good handful of diced cilantro. It doesn't have to be super fine, but you do want a pretty good dice on it so it incorporates well. Then you can add that into your bowl with everything else. I also like to add about just under a half a tablespoon of salt. And then for the fun messy part, you'll want to grab a large spoon or a potato masher and get to smushing. You can always use a blender or a food processor and hit this a couple times, but if you don't have any of those, just do it by hand, it's just as good. It can also be a little easier to get the consistency that you want. Just keep smashing until you get there. And once you get there, you have a bunch of delicious salsa to share with friends and family, and is great on some homemade nachos. I hope you enjoy and experiment with the different fruits you can use. You can get some really delicious combinations that way. Let me know in the comments what you try. Like if you like salsa, and subscribe for more recipes.